Hi, welcome to Floss Tube number two. Woohoo! <laughs> We're on a roll. We came back. <laughs> I'm Lisa. I'm Mary. And together we're little Annie Z and Mama Z, and we are here to show you um, what we've been working on uh, over the last month. Um, so we have a few things um, in our lineup today. We have something special that I'll talk to you about at the end um, for all of our subscribers. Um, and we, we have some fully finished objects to show you. Um, we have a awesome quilt parade to show you today. And we've got some whips and some haul um, and some plans. So um, just to give you um, a little bit of a life update. First, we want to say thank you to yes. all of our new subscribers. We're so, so happy to see them all. I know. Thank you. And read every one. And, yes. And comment on them, too. Yeah. Yes. So keep, keep up it. The, the support and encouragement. It's yes. such... We had nothing um, negative to read, and we really mm -hmm. appreciate that. Um, so, um, Mom, you want to talk about your life updates, anything? Well, uh, we I only have one, actually, because we just came back from Aruba. for We were there for seven days and celebrating our 51st anniversary. Awesome. We wanted to go last year, but COVID stopped that. So we were married 50 years last year. <laughs> and our kids gave us a nice little party, the best they could. It was amazing, and we all Aww. had a great time. But then we said, this year, if we can go, we're going to go and celebrate 50 and 51. And the restaurants were very, very kind to us <laughs> and putting 50-51 on our oh. plate. So we did appreciate that, and we had a blast. That's I can't wait awesome. to go back. We actually didn't want to leave. It no. was so good. That's yeah. like a place you said was, that you never want to leave. I know. It was oh. so good to be back and out and about, you know, oh, yeah. doing stuff. So I can imagine. And we both had our shots. We had to get tested before we went, and we had to get tested on the, way home. on the way home. Were you hoping so for a we were, negative test? No, <laughs> no. I didn't want to get stuck there for like three weeks or so. Oh, yeah. But uh, okay, thank God we were okay. Good. So we're back. <laughs> All right. Yeah. That's awesome. Well, we've been camping. Um, we went camping once over the last month in our um, little travel trailer. And so that was nice. Yeah. Um, nice to get away. Um, it was rainy, but we... Um, that doesn't stop you. No, no, no. We, can... It was great because we didn't, um, you know, we brought things to keep us busy. Mm -hmm. So I did my stitching and my husband did whatever he did <laughs> his thing. I'm sure there were breaks in between the rain too, weren't there? Yeah. yeah. So yeah. you could get out and so go we, for a walk Yeah, we love to go for a walk. Yeah. Um, so it's a nice um, Army Corps of Engineers has um, really great campgrounds. So. Where'd you go? Um, Dell Mountain at oh. Carter's Lake. Oh, is that so. the one we visited? Did yes. we visit you there? Okay. Yes. That was nice. We enjoyed that. Yes. We want to have more guests come, and I yeah. asked them. Um, I said, when are we going to be able to have guests come? Because we're still under the, they're still working under the 2020 oh, yeah. guidelines. Yes. So, At some um, places, not all. Yeah. yeah. Some places. So I guess it just depends on the campground. Yeah. I um, love that Fred made us dessert in that pan over the fire. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that was amazing. He did a great he job with that. He makes the amazing, the most amazing um, campfire cake. Yeah. I guess we can call it. It was delicious. Yeah. And I, I said, I got to see this. Yeah. And it was. It was good. <laughs> he loves to cook. Yeah. He made us steaks on the grill. Oh, my God. We're glad we went. <laughs> it was great. Yeah. That was pre COVID. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, sure. And then. Um, we had Father's Day, so we had yes, this Father's it was Day wonderful. celebration. Um, yes. We went for hibachi, yep. um, and that was good. Um, and now we have upcoming Fourth of July, so we're looking forward to that. We're going to have mom and dad and a yeah. friend over for yeah. um, for that. Because everybody else is on vacation. Our other yes, two. Every, yeah. every we have a big family, and everybody. Um, we had what two hibachi tables for Father's Day. Yeah. Um, but now, um, everyone's going on vacation, so it's just going to be small get-together on and 4th of July. it's going to be just fine. And yeah. wonderful. When it's small, it's nice. Yeah. 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 So. Um, and then I have a little bit of a hobby farm update. Um, mm. we, thank you for everyone who is so interested in our beehives. <laughs> um, I'll have probably something to share with you next floss tube with all of the, um, the honey I think we're going to have next oh, wow. next time. Um, so honey will be coming soon, but um, our blackberries um, are coming in like crazy. And I'll 
insert a picture for you I took this morning of my blackberry harvest I had awesome. a shirt full of them Wow yes Wow um, where do you have your plants what are you they're right planted? behind the beehives oh, and then okay. we've got um, we have beehives on two sides of the yard so we've got blackberries right behind one um, one side of the yard and then same thing on the other okay and then yeah. my husband planted a whole row of um, sunflowers that are coming up oh, it's gonna I love be so sunflowers. pretty oh my gosh are the chickens laying still? So the, no, that <laughs> no? was something else I was gonna Aww. say. I'm only getting like one egg a day, um, What's wrong so with they're. Them? <laughs> I think they're, the heat's getting to the hens. <laughs> oh they're God. getting their hot, their hot flashes yeah. going. Gotta give them, give them a little strut here. Come on, yeah. girl, let's get going. <laughs> All right, so um, we're gonna probably do our quilt parade now. So um, we're going to get set up for that and come right back. Okay, so I have a Christmas in July um, theme today, um, but we're going to have a little bit of everything. Um, so I'll show you some of my Christmas quilts that I finished previously. Um, and they've come out of Lori Holt's Vintage Christmas. Um, most of you there probably you have seen that book. Um, so I just took some different blocks out of this and created a couple quilts. So this is one of them. I love this. I know. It's and such the more a you cute... wash it, the better it gets. I know. Yes. I love that that look. This so way. this is the top. Okay. This way. Yeah. Okay. So it's just a throw quilt, just a little sampler quilt. Um you want to go up close. Some 12 inch blocks and then some six inch blocks right here. I did a, a little bit of a border. Try and raise it up higher, honey, so you can see the bottom. So, um, yeah. yeah, there we go. Yeah. So that's one and of the, the quilts. Back. The back, and the is back. This here, really pretty fabric. I like yes. that. Yes. So it's a Lori Holt um, fabric backing and border. And then the others are just a mixture of different fabrics that I picked up. Oh, I love the gosh. candles. It looks so you did a great job quilting too. Thank Look at your you. points and everything. So I did you some go, girl. French knots, but they yes. they are perfect. Let's see. And then I had some oh, yeah. buttons on here that I just ended up taking off because I wanted to be able to use it, and they kept falling off on me um, because I didn't know how to sew the buttons on after it was all quilted without it showing through on the back. That's hard to do that when you're quilting. You'd have to. Go around it but you, you could do it I mean you could sew them on you would just have to be careful yeah so I just avoided it all together yeah, yeah. so that's that's, that's beautiful that's very pretty I like the pink with the red for that mint green color oh my god yeah I really like the yeah. color combo I love teal and red together it's 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 a, a nice combination me too yeah okay. so this is a flannel quilt I did just for my husband I mean obviously it's re very small for him to to use, warm. but it was just like a memento to give him. Um, so hats, I did a 12 block and a six block, um, six inch block for hats, and then some mugs with yeah. um, with a star Cute. in the center. Um, Very nice. So this, all of this flannel was a Black Friday sale at Joanne's. Um, one oh, look day. at these! Look at this! And then I the owls on the back. Yes, I love it. And fo oh no, foxes. Yeah. Foxes. You know, sometimes just having something on you when you're sitting. Yeah. And your arms just on. It doesn't have to be a big quilt. Just something I know. soft makes you feel comfortable and warm. I agree. Yeah. And and the flannel is mm -hmm. awesome. So it was really hard to <laughs> sew with the flannel for me and a lot of cleaning out my machine afterwards. I know. <laughs> well, once you, now that you started, you find a way to go make it a little bit faster. And once you get used to it, it does go faster. Yeah, you know, so. I I'm just I mean that was like she's, the first ever. Yeah, she's Christmas. new at this, but let me tell yeah. you, she does an amazing job. Aww. She took to it really good. Well, I love it. Thank you. Yes. Yes. Okay, so this is a table topper or a quilt, um, and oh it doesn't matter how you oh hold gosh. it up because it's just um, a bunch of um, yeah. border within a border within a border, cool. and then um, pretty fabric. So this is oh, um, a lot of Lori Holt and. Um, I think Moda, uh, this one, uh, this one looks like Moda. Is it Moda? Is that Moda? I can't remember, um, now, honestly, okay. but the back is Kimberbell. Yeah, that's fine. So. Yeah, oh, I love it. We'll show she that does, back she close does, yeah. up. 
She does some great stuff. I love her. I and love I, her kits, too. I didn't quilt this at all, and I just did a self-binding quilt. It was um, really quick and easy. So there is no binding on it. Um, it's just all within. Can you see that? Look how pretty. Yeah. Isn't that cool? So I love the gingerbread um, theme yeah. and baking theme together. So. You know, if you wanted to, you could always go back and do some meandering on there. Yeah, I you could. can. Yeah, because I also thought maybe you don't have to worry about the binding. Maybe little ties. What do you call that? Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. French knot them like and leave the strings hanging. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's so too. I thought about that. Yeah, that's what a lot of the churches do for their uh, quilts that they give to um, in the quilt ministry for people who are in the hospital. Oh, hand tie. And they pray like as they tie them. Oh, and that's, that's awesome. Yeah. yeah. So um, I found on Pinterest this uh, pattern. It's um, she quilts a lot is the website, and this is I don't want to show the pattern even though it's a free pattern, but. Um, I'll show you the quilt. It's just a little oh, mini. mini quilt. And so that's the block. So you make the actual she block and then you cut it. And then so the cut pieces well, together. Well, that's what you sent me the yes. other time. Oh, it looks so much different in person. And my, my binding oh my is atrocious on this, but it was just kind of a, a, a um, practice. You know what, Lisa? But this is French general fabric. Every time you do something, you learn. Yeah. You know, so. Um, and I took my time yeah. and I really enjoyed the process of this. Yeah. So I, I don't regret doing it. So it's just going to be a little mini quilt. Um, just you can even put that in the center of your coffee table backing. as a, with a candle in the middle of I it. I could. Yeah. That's a great idea. You know, so. so that's all my yeah. um, parade, but I know mom's got uh, quite a few things. Yeah. Well, this, my daughter Lisa made this for me last year. Like I said, we, we had our 50th anniversary. And she presented this to me and my husband. Um, I love these <laughs> ribbons. <laughs> and she put our wedding pictures on it. And she, look at how beautiful the quilting is on there. I didn't do the did quilting Denise myself. Do that? Denise, Denise did that. Denise did that, yeah. yeah. Denise ours. is one of our friends. But I just love it. And it, it hangs up, it not hangs up, but it, it's on over my couch in my family room. My couch is yellow up there, so it goes with it. Did you do that on purpose to make it yellow to go with the couch? We did it yellow for golden anniversary. Oh, that makes sense. <laughs> and then this was um, just a contrasting color that one of my sisters picked out. Oh, that was so nice. Yeah, they all had their hands in it, even though they didn't do it, actually. And they then had it. my mom's um, bridal, bridal party, party colors. It was rainbow. It was a rain rainbow wedding. So I put I that I love on that. There. That was very special. <laughs> Yeah, so that's that's so, a that's a keeper and a treasurer and memories for a lifetime. <laughs> we gotta show Dad's face. Yeah, like, yeah. this Where is, is a cute face that my oh, dad's I know. got. I look scared to death. <laughs> and my I dad's like, to oh, death. all right, we're we done it. Yeah, we're done. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> okay, that's that. Then um, this I love. I did this. I'm trying, this is Susie Q's fabric. Her name is Susie Q. And I love birds. I love chickens. My daughters can tell you. My nickname is Chicky, so maybe that has something to do with it. <laughs> but this is a quilt that I, I just, it's real, it was real easy to do. It was a pain in the neck doing all these squares and having the corners wow, match up. Wow, that's beautiful. But this was a panel. This here big oh. piece was a panel. And I think she still may have this design. Her, uh, look up Susie Q. Susie Q. Yeah, and then the, um, I just want to show you how cute and funky this chicken is with her <laughs> babies. I just love it. Oh yeah, and this was pre my. Um, I didn't quilt this. Let's bring it up closer to show the quilting. A friend of mine did the quilt, the top quilting on her on her um, machine. Okay. It was before I got mine, so. I can see it here. Yeah, it's pretty. It has the flowers like in it, like this was. Oh, in here. okay. She echoed yeah. the flowers. And then this is the backing. The backing was a, cute. a companion design for the the set. That's really. And so cute. was the the uh, binding. It was all in one. It was all in one set. My mom does her binding by amazing hand. by hand. Yeah. I love doing binding. When I got time, I love doing it. Oh, but I don't okay. love when I have to rush. <laughs> yeah. Because it kills your hands sometimes. Okay, so let me get another one. <clears throat> this is from Northcott Fabrics, oh. and it's Southwestern. Oh. And most of the quilts I made are either. Oh, this is heavy. Yeah, it's really, and they wash beautifully. It's either a quilt, a queen, or a king. When I make my quilts, let's turn it around. Turn it around. Did you have this one? 
And you can tell it's very southwestern oh, wow. looking. Oh, look at that. Oh, I love that, yeah. Mom. I don't think I've ever seen this. Oh, I haven't put it on the bed yet. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, wow. yeah, this also, I, I pieced it with all the pieces here, but another friend of mine who has a long arm did the top stitching for me. Okay. And it's a real pretty um, design. I don't know if you can see. It's kind of hard to see. Maybe on the back they can see better. Yeah, let's see. It's like swirls. Yeah. Yeah. And all the fabric was it was called. Um, yeah, I was going to ask. Oh, uh, trying to. I think it was called Southwestern from Northcott. That is, was. But they this, have different color schemes in this. They have a purple. They have blue. They have green. So it was a kit like. It, you bought everything oh, the for collection. It. Yeah, you buy you buy the pattern and then you pick up what you so want. So is this <laughs> considered batik or is this something different? <clears throat> no, this is. Um, it's not batik. No. Okay. No. It it looks like. Um, Speckled almost. Yes, yeah, it is. I, I'm, but if you go on the website, Northcott website, you'll see different colored fabrics. They carry them all the time. Okay. They may change the color from year to year as far as... Uh, let's get the both together. Let me see. Wow, that's a nice quilt. Yeah. Is this a queen size? Yeah, it's a queen size. I love making big quilts because they'll fit any bed, you know? Because usually a, a quilt, a queen could fit on a king. If you oh, have like a, uh, okay. what do you call those skirts at the bottom? Oh, like you know? the uh, bed skirt? Yeah. So, okay. you know. I love and that. I have a, I, I, it fits good on my four best, four post poster bed. Ooh. Okay, now this is my favorite Oh, quilt. this is amazing. This is my, my second favorite quilt. My first favorite quilt is upstairs on my bed, but I didn't want to take it off. Okay. It's a Civil War quilt. Oh. And I didn't want to take it off. I need off. to go look at that. Yeah. <clears throat> but this is a Bargello quilt. Do they call it Bargello? And it's um, oh my goodness! You can see this is it's all the way down. Wow! This is this is huge. This is a this is bigger than a queen size. It's queen. It's, it's king. It's a yeah. nice size border yeah. on it. And it, let's let's turn it. Is that take, like a six inch border? This almost like, the back. One? Yeah, I just wanted to, you to take that. Let me take this. I want to show something. Oh, okay. Okay, this is the way it sits on my bed. It sits this way on my bed. Okay. The points go up. Okay. You can make it with the points go down, but I like it with the points go up. And uh, that is gorgeous. Yeah, the, this is a butterfly design and flowers. That's the backing, and the design on it is a floral. You can see it. Oh, maybe better on the back. It's kind of hard. Yeah, the quilting. So this is my second favorite quilt, and I love it. I and love it's a, it. it's a king size quilt. Yeah. Wow. And this is nice and heavy too. Yeah. I couldn't stop at that because I wanted to make pieces oh, to go with it. Wait till you see this. And I still have to make my pillow shams. I still have the fabric left for it. Let's do it one more time. Put them together one more time. Yeah. Okay. It's heavy, isn't it? It is heavy. <laughs> heavy quilt. Let me get the middle. Okay. And you have this displayed okay, on a bed? It's on my four poster bed because it's a, it's a queen size bed that I have up there but it goes down quite a bit to match because it's up off the ground, the bed. Uh, I mean, the bed is like, has, has, it's high. It's a high oh, bed. Oh yeah, I remember the yeah, bed. Yeah, it's a high bed. About. Okay. Okay, so now, this is a pillow that I made to go with it. It's a sunflower pillow. Oh, wow. And this here is all ruffled. I, I gathered Ooh. it and sheared it together. Oh, wow. You can see, and then just started in the middle and went around. That's a around. lot of work. Look yeah, and these this. are all individual petals. This was a class that was taught at my guild here in Canton, and I learned how to do the petals, and I, I think I put on one round and then came home and finished it. Wow. And it's a pocket, pocket thing, oh, so I can take cute. the pillow out to wash it. And this sits on the middle of that, that uh, bed. And I just have the pillow shams to do the same with the same thing, but not this. I'm just going to make regular pillow shams with the fabric. Nice. Yeah, so that's that. Beautiful. Yeah. Okay, so is that it for the quilt parade? That's it for now. Okay. We, we got, we'll have more to, to do like later on. <laughs> okay. All right. We're going to finish ones, but I, you know. Yeah, we'll show more yeah. another time. So we're going to get set up for the rest of the floss tube and we'll be right back. Okay, so let's, um, let's do finishes first, Mom, fully mm -hmm. finished objects. Okay. Right here. Okay. So this is a, a wallet I made that's totally with, out of cork. The pieces of paper I have in there. It holds your credit cards or whatever cards you've got, and it has a zipper. So here you go. Oh. There you see the, the card slots, and there's the zipper right here. 
It has a zipper. And it's got it's lined with the with, with fabric, sorry. <laughs> and it actually when you close it, it goes through this little line here and it closes that way. You could put a magnet. I didn't. I love the but color that's, of that cork. Yeah, it's like raspberry and it's got silver going through it. Nice. So this was so much fun. This, this used to be a freebie on Sally Tomato website, but I'm not sure if it still is. I think it was Sally Tomato. I'll write it down, yeah. Sally Tomato. Yeah. We'll link these if yeah. we can. And then this here is a pattern I made from my brushes, makeup brushes, and it's from By Annie. Okay, uh, she has by Annie. by Annie has I know everything to make for purses hardware amazing everything oh that fabric's great yeah isn't that look at that this is really cute and this is the uh, netting that I have and it's got pockets I made pockets to put all the different brushes and when if the if you uh, want to wash them your brushes you can even put them in here and lay them down and then when they're dry you can just close it up oh cool and it's got this nice little tie to go around it and you buckle it that's nice um, yeah very classy looking a lot of her a lot of her stuff that she sells I love she it's for organization like of your brushes of, of oh. what your zippers of whatever and she sells a that's lot of zippers beautiful thank you well you sew beautifully well look Sometimes at that. I mean I, I, love like doing doing that. I love doing that I love doing that binding on there that would be my so. nightmare yeah <laughs> <laughs> really you'll get used to it honey you really yeah. will this is a, a oh, it's all that. cork and fabric. This is batik in the middle, is here, and the outside is, is cork, and then of course the, the number five zipper, and it's got a uh, lining with the batik, same as the outside, and it has a pocket and a zipper on this wow. side. You can put your, well, it's kind of down in there, but that's, and then when you want to wear it, you wear it like this. You hold it on like this. Oh. You wear it like that. Very classy. So, yeah. It matches my bracelet. Oh, look at that. <laughs> my, Did you do that on purpose? Yeah. No, that bracelet. My daughter makes bracelets. Oh, yeah. We're gonna my have other have daughter it. makes bracelets. We're going to have to have her on to show nice. you. nice. I love it. She yes. does good work. Okay. And then this is another one that I made um, not too long ago. It's got a rainbow zipper. And the rainbow zipper, actually, I got at uh, Hobby Lobby. Ooh. When I saw this, I grabbed all they had because I loved it. And it's, um, it's a number five zipper, I believe. And I put the tissue paper in there, but it has a pocket. The top here is batik, and the bottom is um, vinyl, marine vinyl wow. that I got at Joann's. And I also got the batik at Joann's. Wow. So they have a great quality, uh, a lot different colors. And this is a uh, batik also, but that's like a side holder. I love so, it. And it's, the, the corners are boxed, so it stands up. So what do you use that for? You can use it for anything. anything. You go out at night, you can put, you know, whatever. It's just a little purse carry-on. Okay. Whatever you, yeah. Nice. I like that kind of size. That yeah, size that's is good, good yeah. for a lot of things. Yeah. And you could actually take this off and put one of those, you know, those round coil bands that you oh, put in yeah. here and carry and put it on your wrist and use it that way. Mm -hmm. You can put charms on them. I and you can do a lot of stuff with these, the zippers and stuff. So. Pretty. And then I have yeah. um, Secret Angel. Secret, Secret Angel. Angel. I was going to so say make, Secret Sam. Yeah. I made these for them, and they're uh, they're they're actually for pin cushions, and the shape of an angel, and it's all with beads. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, those are so cute. Yeah, I love doing those. They were fun to make. <clears throat> and then. And then your mannequins. Oh, my mannequins. Yeah, these are um, actually get that one right there. I want to show that one first. This is a free um, pattern from Kimberbell, and I she is on YouTube. Let me see if I can come down with it further. She's on YouTube, and it's um, the whole thing is free. It's a pattern that you cut out, and you you uh, just cut your fabric and sew it. And she gives you really good instructions. And the bottom I chose to do on a candlestick. You That's can get cool. wooden or you can get glass. And the top is also a bobble there. And uh, I I had ribbon that was like a um, number for sewing. I took that. Oh, I thought cute. the I thought the fabric was good. And is you know? this a form, or do you stuff it? You stuff to, it. Oh, wow. The pattern is this way. The pattern is cut out like that, and then you sew it, oh, and then you stuff it. Wow. And then you glue you E6000 glue on the bottom. You put some felt okay. on the bottom. And I keep my little scissors there. And and put your pins yeah, on it? Yeah, it's more And like, then this is just a knob? Yeah, that's supposed to be the head. Okay. You know, sort of. Like, like our photo bomb yeah, right here. Just... <laughs> that's my She's queen. the queen. She's the queen. She gets to wear pearls. <laughs> And this was another one 
Whenever I make something, I make two of everything, and this was an order I had gotten from a, a lady that wanted one for her granddaughter, and she liked birds. So that was oh, another one. Cute. I also taught a class at my guild um, to the ladies there, and a bunch of them made these. It was a fun thing to do for the guild. And again, it's the glass. The glass things you can get anywhere. You can go to a pottery place, a Hobby Lobby, Joanne's. I think they eventually was, would sell that stuff. Okay. Oh, that's a different one. And this one. is a metal one. And this is my little ballerina. One, she's got pearls, of course. <laughs> and I keep these I keep these up, up on the top of my cabinet. I just like them. But this oh, also. Oh, that's adorable. Yeah, isn't that cute with her? Can you see her little face? Look at the detail. Let me hold it okay. so that they can see. There's, um, I don't know if you can see, but there's like a little rickrack rick -rack detail even. So cute, Mom. Well, you know, having three daughters and, and four granddaughters, I like doing <laughs> girl stuff. stuff. I have a hard time with boys yeah, but doing I know, stuff. Yeah, I know. That would be hard to... Yeah, and this was another one for, um, that I made for an order, and it would, she, she, the little girl loved cats. And the ribbon says BFF on it. Yeah, and BFF. And she made a little Hello Kitty necklace on yeah, it. Yeah, you can see that right there, a little kitty necklace. Yeah. And then you can also use wooden ones of these or whatever. So, so cute. But these are so much fun to make, you know. And then I found these um, decorative pins, different shapes, if you can see that close. Straight pins at Hobby Lobby. They carry those. Oh, they carry mm -hmm. those. Oh. Yep. Yep. Oh, that's, so. that's good to know. Yeah. I know that. And as far as making stuff, this here, you want me to show this now? You can show this now. Okay, yeah. this is a work in progress. Again, it's another quilt. And it's a, we want to go stand. Oh, how are we going to do this? Stand Let's see here. if we can hold Stand it. Stand up here and do it. Yeah. Make sure you can't appreciate it unless it's fully open. Okay. It's a watermelon quilt. Oh, I love and that. And I use this on my kitchen table upstairs. Is this a version of um, Log Cabin? Uh, it's sort of. It's a step. Okay. It's a it's step. It's a step. One. Yeah. Okay. So it's actually, this is the side. The top is this way. If you take this piece. Oh, okay. Yeah. So that's the top. My, oh, my, okay. my table is oblong. Oh, see. All right. Yeah, and see the step it goes? Are the... these applicate on? Yeah. <gasps> oh, my goodness. Yeah. This watermelon yeah. seeds are applicate yeah. on. And this is the, this is going to be the binding. Oh, that is so well, cute. Can you get to that? Can you show that up close? Yeah. Yes, it's a checkered. And it's going to go cute oh, with nice. that. Oh, nice. So it matches the red in here. And let's show the back. It matches the that. See? Oh, yeah. Okay, the fabric on the back is a swirly... It's really red. It's really cute. Yeah. And did you say what fabric this is? I don't remember, honey. I don't. It's, I don't okay. remember. Okay. This has been a work in progress for over a year. <laughs> I want you to know. This is a really whip. Yeah, whip. yeah I've yeah. got really whips too. <clears throat> but I use it on my table even though it's not bound because I'm too lazy oh, to get to it. Oh, why not? I yeah. mean, you did all that work. Yeah, I'm too lazy to get to it. But I will eventually. It'll hit, it'll hit me when we do the work. Some, you know. What do they call those? Um, Fully finished? Yeah, when they've got a work in progress. There's another word for it. Like UFOs, unfinished, oh, unfinished oh. projects, you know? Okay. I didn't even, I don't know about that. Yeah. Acronym. Quilters, has their own, quilters <laughs> have their own little Oh, window. okay. <laughs> so, so you want me to show this next or you want to wait on this? We'll wait on that. Okay. So yeah, that'll we'll be wait. during our, we've so got, we got some, all the stuff. stuff. I got, my mom's got a really cool thing to show during haul. Yeah. Um, so you, is that all your works in, your works in progress? That's all my works in progress, yes. Okay. So, um, I will show you previous finishes, um, with, um, the Christmas in July theme. So yes, I'll show over. you, um, we, I showed you my quilt, and now I'm going to show you my, um, cross stitch. Oh, that one's so cute. Did you just finish this? I did all these um, over Christmas. Oh, that's a Christmas one. Oh, my gosh. So this is, I found um, Stitching with the Housewives, I guess mm -hmm. on YouTube, and um, fell in love with their patterns, wow. um, as so many other people have. So this is um, called Candy King Coop, and I had to modify it a little bit to fit on what I wanted it to finish um, to finish it on. So this is called Candy Cane Coop. How cute is that title? <clears throat> I know, right? I know. And so I finished it on this. <gasps> oh my gosh. Let me. Oh my gosh. Turn and I used my so silhouette um, to print out the words Candy Cane Coop like I like it was written in chalk. Oh 
Turn it sideways so you can see the easel. It's an easel. It's an easel. Oh my gosh, yeah. Lisa, that, that stitching is fabulous. Let me oh, see your thank stitching. You. Wow, that's perfect. Oh, thanks. Oh my gosh. I, I and look at this. have fallen in love with crosses. Look at yes, that so cute. this is um, like a little, peppermint candy. I think I found this in the <clears throat> um, scrapbooking section at um, Hobby Lobby and then, oh no, at Walmart. I found it um, in the scrapbooking and the bows in the Christmas section at Walmart. Wow, you know Walmart is a, is a little yeah. diamond in the rough. They are. The They've sometimes. got lots of yeah. cool stuff. I love that And easel. the easel I found at um, Michael's. Wow. And um, I have my little yeah, library card on the back and I'll, um, I finished this in December of 2020. So I had... Um, I was home for Christmas all by my lonesome, me and my husband, <laughs> with COVID. So I had, uh, I did this on 14 count black Ada with um, DMC and I love just that finished you use those it on cards foam cord. like that. That's amazing. I got, yeah. That's I, a good idea. I, I got that idea from yeah. Lori Holt because she has her library cards, but I just bought these from Amazon and I just um, glued it That's to the back. That's perfect. I love it. So that's Candy King Coop. Look at that. Is that vinyl that you said? Yeah. Oh, you did it on the it. silhouette. Wow, My cool. mom gave me her silhouette. Yeah, very and nice, honey. And then I just trimmed it with um, white rig rack. Very pretty. And this I love. And this is, let's see, I've got Gingerbread Cottage by Stitching with the Housewives. That's and cute, that's too. on blue, light blue Ada that I did mine on. Um, and oh I did gosh, it on an oval. Oh. And just um, a little cupcake and a and a cookie cutter. Oh my gosh! Lisa. And that's all from Walmart too. Um, and I got the oval. I used a, a little wooden oval from Michaels as my form. Beautiful. And then um, green rickrack. Is that from Lori too? Green rickrack. Uh, no, no, that's just from Hobby Lobby. Okay. I've got lots of glue still on it. And then um, I just put felt on the back. It's beautiful. Thank I love you, that Mom. blue. Oh my gosh. So this is, is light beautiful. blue Ada, 14 count from yeah. Hobby Lobby and DMC Threads. Wow. Um, yeah, and that's it on that. So how do you attach the pocket? Uh, on with the back glue, of it? hot glue. Oh, okay. Okay. And then the next one is called Sweet Delivery. I couldn't resist this one. It's so cute. Little truck with the gingerbread men. So let me see that. Can I see that? Pen? Yeah. So this, this so one cute. is another cookie cutter. Um, it's a Christmas tree that. cookie cutter with a little donut and the bows. I like the bows already made because all I have to do is just glue it on. Now tell me, where'd you get that tree cut, the cookie cutter? At um, at Walmart at Christmas time during the uh, where all the Christmas so ornaments are. So they have the minis, the little minis. Yeah, they had oh little minis. Oh my gosh, that's a great time they to stock so up They were so cute. Yes. Yeah. You never know when you're going to use something like that. You I know? know. So then you wish you had it. So I, I did it to hang, so I put a little oh um, bakery, um, what do you call that, bakery twine? Oh yeah, yeah. On the back. Right, yeah. and, um, Bakers use that to close their boxes of cookies. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So I thought that would be cute. And I love your choice of fabrics. I mean, the, the checkered with the polka dots is oh, really thanks. striking on the blue. Oh yeah. Yeah. I so forgot I to it. mention that. Yes. I've got um, checkered... Um, ribbon that I just glued down. Wow. These were like my very first finishes ever, so they're very basic. Um, basic? But, but beautiful. <laughs> oh my gosh, you're kidding me. Thanks. So light blue Ada, same as the other, and um, DMC threads. Yeah, beautiful. Um, so that's it for my my previous finishes. And then I have a, a couple fully finished objects to show you in cross stitch. And um, I'm gonna the bag so you can do let's it. Let's see. I might yeah. take the patterns okay. off first. Gosh. <laughs> okay, so this Girl, is. You spent a lot of money on this cross stitch. <laughs> Look at you. <laughs> she, I thought that was bad. Well, I have a huge stash of um, DMC that someone from church gave me. Oh, nice. So I don't have to buy any threads, which is nice. Wow. I, I do buy the variegated thread um, to do. Um, especially this here. So this is um, 
August oh, calendar wow. crates. Wow, sunflowers. Sunflowers, again. sunflowers and little beehives. Oh my gosh. So How you perfect guys know is that? August calendar. This is a club from the Fat Quarter Shop that I joined um, in conjunction with Stitching with the Housewives. And Aren't you glad that she got into cross stitching too? Yeah. Because Lori, I think Lori Holt is one of her regulars that does stuff on And here. she does such cute stuff yes, too. Yes, I know. Um, so <clears throat> this is my fully finished for the um, August calendar crates. It's a two piece. So this is the small. I'll show you. Oh my gosh, Lisa, I love it. That's the small, and I put the magnet on the yes. back to change oh out with gosh. the. Um, with my 4th of July that I have up now. And then this is... Oh, gosh. This is the Sunflower Oh, my gosh. Manor, when did you do this? I guess it's called... Um, Just recently? Yes. When Man. we went camping. You're fast. This is what I did when oh. we went camping when it was raining. This girl's fast. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I'm determined not to get behind on... Because it's a monthly thing. I know. So I don't want to get behind. And not only that, if you do get behind, then you don't feel like doing it because you feel like you're, there's then no that's, way of that's getting it, caught yeah. up. That's so what happens I'm with me. I'm determined not to get yeah. behind. Okay, now this is, um, I, don't, I won't show you the pattern, but this is one of the stitch cards by Lori Holt. Stitch card set I, and this is the cake. And I did it in a little... Um, this is like so ha fun for me. You don't know what's going to come out of that bag. <laughs> So I just oh did a gosh. little, um, her, sti her stitch cards are 24 stitches by 24 stitches, so they work out really fast. So I had this hanging in my kitchen, eat cake for breakfast. I don't know if you're seeing it backwards on camera, but um, I got it at Hobby Lobby, and I had a, a bunch of old spoons. So I hot, not hot glued it, but um, E6000. Yes, yes. Um, That's good stuff. <laughs> glue, yeah. yeah so it. that Use hangs in my kitchen. Um, Let me see it up close. I want to look at that. <laughs> oh my gosh. Lisa. And while you're looking at that, I'll explain this. So this is... I love it. Um, this is Queen Bee Bakery by Stitching with the Housewives. And I got my inspiration to finish it from Priscilla Blaine, the way she's got here. So I don't know if you could see, but she's got two little things from the uh, fairy section at Hobby Lobby. It's the um, little honey and beehive. Oh my gosh. Um, and so I found, I'll show you the finished piece first and then I'll show you how I display it. So this is on chalkboard black Ada, 14 count. And I um, got this fabric at Vector Quilts from my, my mom oh, and I. We just went there. Coriander yeah. Quilts. I showed the fabric last floss tube. You did. So I used it on this um, with that same gingham black and white ribbon and then I made three um, covered buttons to put on wow. at the bottom and they're oh. from Lori Holt's bake sale fabric um, little mixing bowls so this is done with um, 14 count chalkboard black Ada and then classic colorworks variegated threads wow, I love that ribbon it's got the little pie cut edges it's really yeah pretty. it does Oh my gosh! That's so, so I'll show you how I finish it in my um, in is my kitchen. Is this black or is this gray? It's chalk. They call it chalkboard chalk black. Oh, chalk. Okay. So this is the wow. box I got oh from Hobby gosh. Lobby, and it's um, it was on clearance for like three dollars. So I'll set it up really quick for you to um, so you can. Oh my gosh! So I made this. Everything is on here with magnets so that I can change things out. So this is. Um, Let me hold it up. This is, yeah, you can if you like. I'll Thank bring you. It up closer. That's a, just a bow with a sunflower that I glued on. And, the magnets on and I found these little mini um, uh, oh cake gosh. things at Home Goods. <laughs> and then the same fairy um, How cute things from is Hobby that? Lobby. So, so I magnetized that oh on there. Gosh. And then this I found at Home Goods also. And oh. it was displayed just like this. So it's a little mini cake, spring form cake pan with, with the, the with all pin. the rolling pin and the oh and then the gosh. fairy How thing. Cute is this? So the way I display it is, this is too cute. Put the lid on it. <laughs> it's picking up everything. I know I have magnets on here. So I'll show you here. There you go. Okay. 
So this goes on here. Well, they'll still say strong <laughs> They're magnets. They're strong magnets. <laughs> that goes there. Oh my gosh. This How goes cute. here. Oh, that's okay. Is that just it's magnetized on oh, there. It's magnet. so it, okay. Yeah. Well, that's a good thing. <laughs> <laughs> and then. Where'd you put that? It was just sticking right on there. Okay. Yeah. So this Look is how it sits that. in my kitchen. Put it up above the bar so they can see it. The bar is here. But there you go. I don't. I think it's getting cut oh, okay. off on the top. Okay. But it's a pretty big finish. Oh my gosh, Lisa! How cute! How fun to change out things yeah. on there. And then you can just stick it back inside here and put something else. So wonderful. This is. Um, this yeah. is your first one that you did like this. Yes. Okay. So this is the first. Oh my That's goodness. Okay. <laughs> you're gonna need a. Once you do more, you're gonna need more than this box to store. Right? I know. <laughs> Tell you. It's okay. <laughs> yeah, so that's my. Here, put that with it so you don't lose Thank it. Thank you, Mom. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it, it came unglued. But anyway. Okay. So, this is so cute. So, those oh my are my gosh. fully finished objects. And then oh, I have pattern, yeah. two whips to show you. There you go. Thank you. There you go. <clears throat> so, my cross stitch whip is I'm still working on Blackbird Designs. Um, uh, the bee skep it's called. You showed that last time you were starting, right? Yes, I okay. had just started it, okay. and I got some good progress on it. Oh boy, you sure did. Man, so, that's tiny. Uh, yeah, wow. it's 14 count, but I tried some of the specialty stitches, and it just wasn't working for me, so I just did regular cross stitch. Um, so I told you I was going to put my husband's initials here, so I've got his initials here, and then my L... Um, I think I had on here the last time. I just have my. Are you over one stitch, like X over one? So, do, like how are you? Uh, doing? Just a regular cross stitch. So, um, like from corner to corner. Corner to corner. Okay. Yeah. Very nice. So that's that's my progress on that. I got a good bit of the house done, and I I don't think I had this done last yeah. time. You know, when I did cross stitch years ago, they didn't have these clips. Oh yeah, this I is like really that. helpful. Yeah, these here. I I'm, love those. I'm stitching it on taupe by Fabric Flare. Very Which I think I told you last time. <clears throat> and then my other progress. There's so much eye candy that we can buy. I know. Oh my gosh. My other work in progress is a quilt that I'm using the French General fabric again. Mm. And this is the Jelly Roll Jam quilt pattern from Fat Quarter Shop. It's a free pattern. And um, I love the free patterns. Yeah. You know? it, so I got a French General. Uh, jelly roll um, and let me see I want to show you I'll show you that one? during haul but oh, okay. I use the six by twelve six and a half by twelve and a half um, creative grids ruler cute. to make these blocks cute so I'll hold it up so you can see and um, wow very pretty and I really had I really had fun <sighs> taking my time <laughs> My this back. is this is how I taught her guys yes. to press everything open, and she did a fabulous job. Thank you. Because when you go to quilt this, it's going to look something. It's going to be easy. Yes. yes. It yeah. So oh I'm I'm learning, and then I made my binding. Oh look at this, my mom. Oh you be, added together. My mom would be proud of me. I did bias binding. <gasps> you did. Oh you did. Yes I did. Awesome. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yes. I haven't done that in a long time. It looks so pretty. I never had the on. patience, but instead uh, of joining, butting the yes, things together. Yes, and I find that when you do that, it really helps go around the quilt easier. Yeah, it does because it's on. It, it stretches. It a stretches little bit. a yeah, little bit. Yeah, the bias makes it stretch. So. So that was my work in progress for that. Beautiful. Um, I love that. You did a good job. I'm proud of you. Thank you. Thanks. I'm proud of you anyway, but Aww. I'm proud of your work on that one. That's beautiful. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Okay, so before we get into the the giveaway that we're going to do, um, we are going to talk about plans. Um, did you have any plans that you're going to be doing? Well, I have a lot of plans. I just don't know what they are. I know. We, <laughs> we, I talked about my I plans so the much. last time, and none of them happened. No. <laughs> I have so much stuff that I bought from the last meeting till now here, and I just... 
I have it in my brain what I want to do, but I just need the time. We were away for vacation, and when you come back, you don't, you know, you got to get I back know. in the groove of things, you know. Well, I'll tell you what my but plans I'm ready. are for when, July. When it comes, I'm ready. Yeah. <laughs> It'll hit. That's yeah. what happens. It hits, it hits you, and you're like, okay, I'm yeah. in the mood to do it. Yeah. <laughs> and then, okay, that'll be my plan. Yeah. So, um, so I have Christmas in July plans. So. I purchased this at my oh local my needle workshop. Isn't that cute? Yes. That's Lori oh Holt's my gosh. Uh, Christmas sampler, vintage Christmas sampler. So the quilt that I did, she's got a cross stitch. So how big is this? This is going to be big on the cold four, so it fits 11 by 14 frame on 10 count, but I'm going to do mine on 14 count, so it'll be smaller than okay. 11 by so 14. So you could take some of this to make a magnet yes. thing for that, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, so all of her stuff is 24 inches across by 24 uh, 24 stitches. So same size as the eat cake for breakfast yeah. um, mm. one. So that is, that's a plan. <laughs> we'll see. And then I got this free pattern. I won't show it up close because it, I don't want um, people to be upset that I'm showing patterns. But um, well, if it's free, I don't think it's, it's free. It, it doesn't matter. It's called Sam, uh, Christmas Sampler, and it's free on the DMC website. Yeah. Um, so um, I want to do this on white, Ada, and all red. Oh, gosh. Isn't that going to be Fabulous. cute? Fabulous, yes. Stunning. It would be great. And then I bought the December Trucking Along by Stitching with the Housewives. I'm gonna. I'm not going to do the December part, but I want to do this down below. I fell in love with those large Christmas bolts. Let me see, honey. Oh, how cute is that? And the gingham trees. Yes. Oh, my gosh. So, I want to do that. Very nice. You know, the gingham trees, I wonder if you could make it dimensional and put fabric that's gingham and then cross-stitch the crosses on it. Yeah, I bet you could. Yeah, wouldn't that be pretty? Ooh. Yeah, I like I like incorporating fabric with things that I do. Oh, so that's another idea for you. Good idea. Mm -hmm. And then I bought this uh, project bag to put my, my Christmas stitches. Is this is an, an older um, series, I think, that Fat Quarter Shop did. So these are on sale at Fat Quarter Shop. Um, this is um, Mistletoe Lane, I think it was called. Nice. But I love the, the pink the pink house. So when you make it and after Christmas, you store it in this and put it away? Is that what you're doing? No, I think while, you're while making I'm working it, while on you're it. you're working on it. But you could also All store it in there, too. All my threads and fabric can go in here. Yeah. And I can store it yeah. in there. Yeah. So that's um, nice. that's that, and then this is the creative grids ruler I was talking about that I did um, my uh, that that jelly roll quilt made it super easy um, because yep. all you did was lay this on and cut, yeah, move it, cut. So I love super creative. Simple. I got quite a few of them, and they don't they're, they're very um, they stay in place. Yes. Yeah, they got those little grips on the back. Yeah, in, they in do. The, yeah. and then I got. Um, A couple things oh. to keep my threads and then this it came with it this is a Etsy shop that I'll link below oh my gosh. but she put this cute little Christmas bulb and How then cute is that? Um, these thread um, drops and then this is a Christmas camper oh my gosh Lisa, as a that's needle so, minder so yeah. isn't that cute yes. and even her backing yes. has a cute little Look quilt that. thing on it yes so I'll link these Etsy shops below. I like that stuff just to buy to have, not even if I'm not a camper. <laughs> I know. know. Yeah. And then I got, I got you, Mom, a Christmas in July gift. Uh oh, really? Oh yes. my gosh! How nice is this? <laughs> That's a surprise. So this is Let's another see. Etsy shop, and I found this, and I thought, oh, my mom would love this. Okay. Oh wow. <gasps> oh my goodness. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Oh, this is what it was on, right? Yeah. Can you see that, guys? It's a little It mini... looks like a little mini uh, featherweight sewing machine. I put my hand behind it so yeah. I don't want to cover your face. Oh my gosh. Let me look at so it. So I thought, because you were admiring my oh needle my minder goodness. last time, yes. and that is one that actually sits up so that you could put it somewhere and, and put your needle or oh whatever. Oh my on. god. I'd love to wear it on my shirt. <laughs> It's oh so my tiny gosh. And, and it's my favorite color. Yes. my studio. Yes. Oh my gosh, guys. i got to show this up close. It's got little rhinestones in it. Oh my goodness. Yeah, it's really I have amazing for close. such a small... Can you see that? Yeah, there you go. Wow. So Thank tiny you. and cute. So much. You're welcome. Oh, wow. <laughs> Thank you. Oh my 
my goodness. You're welcome. And, and then I want to give that. away this week um, oh from Stanley Susan Stitch in Time. She has an amazing YouTube channel you guys should check out. Um, and so she sent me this. If you like history of quilts and textiles and things like that, you need to check her out. So she sent me this um, historical quilt block um, book. And that's beautiful. I'm sure that's amazing. There's oh Facing yeah, it's an, amazing. Yeah. And then this cute little mini quilt hanger. I love that. Oh, that's adorable. <laughs> Isn't it cute? You can and hang little, one of your quilt your, your cross stitch yes, um, things on there. Oh my god. Yeah. I didn't think about cross stitch. And then a little butterfly needle minder. Oh, that's so cute. This was a very generous giveaway. Oh my goodness, I'd say so. And then um, Moda, wow. Three Sisters for Moda um, charm pack. That's beautiful. So that'll be fun to work on. Yes. Oh my gosh, this, this is so cute. So that was Susan Stanley Stitch and That time. was a nice gift. My very goodness. nice gift. You know that bag is ripped, but be careful you don't lose oh, yeah, the stitch that. on the bottom. Okay. So let me put this <laughs> down on the floor here. Okay. And then, um, okay, so haul. That was my haul, and you have some haul, Mom. I do. Okay. Okay. So, I do a lot of embroidery. I also quilt. But right now, the quilting machine is is on the back border right now because I'm, I got that new machine, and I'm learning how to use it. I want to keep going with it to just learn how to use it, and then I'll get back to my quilting. So, when we went to Vector Quilts together, mm -hmm. I bought some more vinyl. That I, because I use vinyl when I embroider, vi vinyl and like um, 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 fabric, but it's waterproof fabric or whatever. And this is a uh, like a mirror vinyl, and I use that for the headlights on the on the um, oh, purses that I make. That wow! Are vehicles. And then this is a sparkle green sparkle. I just fell in love with that color. That is so pretty. So this is from Vector Quilts, and I was so happy to see that they carry this, carry different ones, and some yeah. of them, some of it's from Kimberbell, but I'm not sure which ones are. I know she oh, has okay. some, some vinyl, and they carry Kimber, Kimberbell there, too. And this here is rainbow. I love this for the uh, girls for when I do the little purses. Um, for uh, It's from Pretty Pretty and Stitches, I told you, right? Pretty yeah. and Stitches. And it's vinyl, and it's got like a, a little uh, felt backing, which helps um, even line the, whatever you're doing. But I love this. This is going to be some, um, some, I have a little a, a fabric for doing pen holders. For the kids on a little, oh, cute. Uh, little mini composition books. Oh my gosh, yeah, that's for gonna school. be cute. And then the, this here I bought from the store. Um, Parker on the Porch is a uh, a um, company that does a lot of embroidery that you can buy her patterns from or whatever. They're digital. And she has a company on there which she buys some of her stuff from and it's called Cotton Treasures Company. And they have an Etsy shop but they also okay. have a website. I'll link and that. I don't know where the webs. I don't know where she's located. Maybe Idaho. I'm not sure. Okay. But um, um, I got this stuff. So from you got her. this from Etsy. This from her. Okay. Yes, from Etsy. Oh, that's this so is, cute. I know. This is waterproof fabric, <gasps> believe it or not, guys. And I'm gonna make those. Remember, I showed you last time. I showed those uh, uh, things with the, the see-through that you wore around your neck, or you can carry them. No, remember, it's the little zippers with the. You can take them to the beach. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And that's going to be like a, a summertime one. <laughs> it might not get How done this year. Cute yeah, with lemonade that? and watermelons. And I'm going to pair and it. Cherries. Do you yes. see the cherries? On and them? I'm going to pair it up with this. This will be on the bottom. So it's a polka dot. Oh, so cute. So I bought a half a yard of each one because I know I'll use this with the Scotty dogs. I can use it with the Scotty oh, dogs. Look at that. And this is vinyl also. So the polka dot with the Scotty dogs. Yeah, or the polka dot with the chickens. Oh, <laughs> I bought chickens. How cute! I love chickens. So, <gasps> and these are all from that one company that I told you right here, the Cotton Treasures Company. And what are you gonna make? Well, I'm gonna do those things for the beach. Okay. But I'm, I'm I could either make I you can have make a anything. lot there. I can that you hand have sanitizers, left over. purses, little wallets, yes. whatever. Whatever floats my boat at the moment. Whatever your plans are yeah. at the moment. <laughs> and this also, she also has some really cute, really nice looking stuff. This to me is, this other oh. stuff was cutesy. But these are two that I bought from her that I want to do. It's a set, but not a set, but it goes together. 
that and the roses pretty. i love roses oh look at that and i love the, 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 the vinyl. feel yeah. of it yeah you can see it in the camera yeah. and this will probably be like the, that will be on the top or this will be on the bottom whatever i decide to do with oh, it but that's its these company these look like um johnny jump ups yeah yeah but that's the company so, one to go together. with that together yeah yeah like this very nice and i'll put like a, a, a solid in between Okay. Like a solid lavender, oh. lilac and color to go in between. Yeah, so. Oh, beautiful. Stay tuned for what comes out of this. <laughs> <laughs> you never know. <laughs> Let me put them together like this. I can just, I like to keep the set together. I did show this, that. right? These here I did show. You did show this. Okay. And this. Okay. Also, I like doing Aunt by Annie stuff, like I showed you that brush holder. And this is the um, uh, mesh back fabric that she has in a, I mean she's got every color under the book wow. and it's buyandy.com that I get this stuff whenever I do my purses or stuff like that I go to her to buy stuff because yeah. I know the quality and I know I'm going to be happy and with I it. like her soft and safe stable oh yes stuff. yes yeah. because that makes the purses stand up yeah. yeah now this is for make, using your um your little oils and you put oh, the they have oil yeah, see they hold them all in there so this is a this is a wider a wider one like bigger holes Oh, okay. For the, so I'm going to do this eventually. That's a pattern. And it holds all your oils. Very cool. Yeah. And then, I love Kimber Bell, like you do She's too. She's got cute fabric. And this I bought from Shabby Fabric. It's a fabric shop, a Shabby, fabric company. Is that uh, an company. Etsy? Uh, no, this is a Shabby, uh, well, she may be on Etsy. I'm not sure, but I got I bought it online on her website. Okay. Shabby Fabric. You would love that place. Go I'll there. have to look. Yeah, you would love it. <laughs> and it's a kit. It has on everything... Everything to make that pillow. And that pillow, I want to make it for outside on my front patio. Oh, wow. On cute. my bench. I'm going to lay it on my bench. Okay. Show that. Let me show that yeah. fabric. That is so cute. That. And it has all, it has the letters and everything in there. So cute. Yeah, it has I love that. Okay, now, I use these. I bought it because it was a good deal. I got it on Amazon. They're little tassels. And I use them when I make my little hand sanitizers. I put them on the uh, the clips, you know. All the, um, little um, yeah. mini ones. Yeah, mini ones in all the different colors. So I try to match the the color of this with the color of whatever I make the, the uh, hand sanitizer. So pretty. So and they're because, like leather? Like, um, they're like almost like, like, yeah, like leather. They're not real leather. But, okay. But, and then I bought this, so I had to put some, some place to store it. So I bought more, more stuff here. More containers for it, but this I put other stuff in that I bought. You can see oh, there's a cute. lot of stuff in here. Yeah. But I have to show you these here. These here I fell in love with. On the uh, website that's called Plaid, the Plaid Bow Company. Okay. I believe that's what it is. Yeah. I'll link that. Too. Yeah. These are little, uh, little flowers. Oh, that so I, cute. That I that she sells on her on her Etsy shop and on our Facebook page she does too. It's called the Plaid Bow Company. Okay. And, um, I mean, a lot of the vinyl I buy from her. What do they feel like? It's just like a soft. Oh, yeah, they're stiff. And there's a, there's a, um, uh, where is it now? Where's the vinyl? Can I bring the vinyl over here? Oh, go this get here? That, go get that vinyl over there, honey, on that, on my ironing board. Bring the two that are on top and the, the one on top, the flower one. Because that's what these are for. These? Yeah, and then the flower one also. This? Yeah. Okay. You can bring that other stuff too because that goes with it. Okay. This is pretty. Yes. Okay, this is the vinyl that I'm gonna use to make some hand sanitizers. I bought a couple couple of these. And these flowers <laughs> go perfectly with it. Let me see if I can bring this over here. And she has them right now on her. She has them right now on her shop. Hold that closer. But let me tell you, they go fast. Can you see? And then I got this also to go with it as the, the clip, oh, to clip onto the hands. That's like going to be adorable. It's going to be really cute. So both of the colors of these flowers will match this vinyl. Yes. So I bought a few of those sheet sets. And that's from the same company? That's from the same company. So she may have coordinated Oh, let purpose. me tell you something. She not only um, sells supplies, she also makes up pieces to sell. And that's... Oh, that's what I really? love to see because that's where I get my ideas Idea, from. I'm yeah. one of the best customers. <laughs> <laughs> and what is her first name? Her name is Michelle. Michelle. Yes. Right, Hi, Michelle. Michelle. Hi. <laughs> so anyway, I really enjoy her. She's uh, very down to earth. She's a sweet girl to buy from. And 
her quality is amazing. This is her own design. She designed it. Oh, she yeah. designed mm -hmm. it. So. And I love the texture of this. Yes. I do too. And this is like a basket. Basket You know, it's weave. like a basket yeah. weave. If you go to her site, you're going to see stuff that she made with this, with oh, these boy. items on there. And this is more vinyl. I like buying from the roll because it's less expensive if, than buying oh, from a sheet. Okay. And you can get a lot from a roll. Oh, so, all right. Good idea. Yeah. So this may turn out to be a purse. It may turn out to be a, a hand sanitizer. Who knows what it's going wow. to turn out to be. It could be put on a, on a clothing for clothing. I don't know what I'm going to do with okay. it. Okay. Well, I can't wait to so, see what you do yeah. with it. So I also, um, let me see what else I got. Oh, I wanted to show you these here. These were, I thought these were really cute. To make key fobs, you know, usually on key fobs, you see um, just the, the regular ones with the teeth on it that you got it. That's how you connect yes. the key fob. Well, this is um, one that you go, it's got a little indent in the bottom and you put the key fob fabric in there and all, there's little screws and you screw the screws on. You probably put a little dab of glue in there, but it's so much oh, prettier. Cute. I love the look of it better. It's like, it's different. And I like stuff that's different. I like Very being different nice. than everybody else. So, yeah. Yeah, and it comes in silver and gold. I'm, I'm still looking for the um, rose gold one, and I haven't found that yet. Oh, okay. But um, that's that Very on here. Very cute. But now I want to show this here. Um, I <laughs> Because I bought so many, so much, everything was on sale the other day on... Um, <laughs> it can't be helped. No, it can't be helped. <laughs> <laughs> and... Uh, it was, it was on Amazon and on websites also. So this I got from Michaels. I bought this on Michaels because that's where I got the other one I showed you guys. The this, website? The website. Okay. And then I have two of these and this now is my third one. So what I did was I put all my hardware oh. for when I do my... When she said she was going to show hardware, I just, I don't know what I was expecting. This is different color... Oh, hardware wow. for the for purses for sanitizer holders for whatever I make Boy, you filled that up. I did and I figured you know why I don't I hate going out to the store when I have to get something I like when yes. I want to do it. you know sometimes projects hit you in the middle of the day and you say I'm gonna go make yeah, that and then and you don't have it yeah so I like having all this stuff ready I don't blame you and it's, it's what just a great so, container it, and it's so organized that's what I like so yeah that's that and awesome. I think that might be all. Oh, and then no, you want, I want to, to show, show the, the thing yeah. that you put your pins in. My pins? The, um, the gums. Oh, yeah, but let me show this yarn first. I didn't oh, do the yarn. this yarn, yarn is awesome. Okay, this yarn is chenille. And I got it at uh, Hobby Lobby. And I love it. I bought different colors. I got white, blue, and this baby pink. And um, I'm going to incorporate it when I quilt. So when I do a quilt, if I make a flower or whatever on the quilt, I'm going to use this. I have a foot that does it. I have a foot that you, you really? couch. It's called couching. Couching. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I'm going to use this in my quilting. Oh, I can't wait so to stay see tuned. that. <laughs> I don't know when it will be, but stay tuned. <laughs> and then I have this here. Okay, this was... I save everything containers. My mom repurposes lots of I stuff. I save jars. I save pickle jars, pepper jars, <laughs> whatever. Because I do use them, the leftovers or whatever. But I, I use that number... I, I used to chew a lot of gum. I don't anymore. But um, this is number five gum. I get it from uh, Costco, I guess. I get because it, it comes in packs, and they, you know, it opens up and you take a stick out. So what I use these empties for is I put my used needles, sewing machine, and my uh, long arm needles instead of putting them in the trash or just throwing them out, you know. So what do you do with them once it fills up? Then I, I throw it away. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's in, so I, just I, I cover, place it, where you put I cover it. it or I put tape around it so it doesn't open up. And just oh, yeah, okay. throw it out. Good idea. So that's it. Okay. I think I believe I showed everything here. Yeah. So so we good. we have a Christmas in July um, giveaway mm -hmm. for our subscribers. So um, just a few things to remember um, if you want to enter the giveaway. I'll show you what it is, but I'll tell you what the um, what the guidelines are first. So I'd like um, you in your comment to use the keyword Christmas. And please don't use the word giveaway. Um, everybody, I think, knows that by now. And um, you'll have to be 18 because you'll have to give me your address. I'm going to have to include my email address down there. So if you win, you can contact me. Um, we'll do a drawing before our next Floss 2 video and announce the the winner then. So you won't have this for Christmas in July stitching. It is a Christmas in July themed giveaway, but you'll have it 
um, so that if you're doing Christmas um, stitching or quilting um, between now and, and Christmas, you'll have it. Yeah. That's um, nice. Very generous of you to do that. Oh, you. well, thanks. Yes. It's fun. Giveaways yes. are fun. Yeah. Um, so, um, so you'll say the the keyword in your um, in your comment Christmas. You will have to be a subscriber to the channel and have to like this video also. Um, and um, the question I would like you to answer is, what project are you working on now? So answer that question and incorporate the word Christmas in your comment. Um, and I'll show you what the giveaway is. So it's a few things and it's just going to be one giant, not giant, but one giveaway package. So one winner. Um, so I showed you my, my floss drops that I bought from, um, it's NNY quilts. And so I'm going to share some with you. So she sent me a lot. So I'm going to share some with you. Um, and it's part of the giveaway. Um, that's I just tied cute. some ribbon on there, but that's, there's, I think, there. yeah, I, I can't remember how many I included. I want to say 25 maybe. It looks it. Floss even, drops and they're red on the back. Mm -hmm. um, and then I've got this um, stocking cross stitch pattern in my stash that I'm going to share with you. That's really cute. Oh my goodness. And, um, and then I have oh. a bag full of my Christmas selvage edges that you can use to... Um, to decorate your fully finished objects, or you can even use them just to stuff projects in a primitive way. I just want to say something on that. Mm -hmm. You know, Parker on the Porch, they're a digital embroidery company. They're on, you can find them on the website and on Facebook also. And they use, she has a lot of those, um, they're about this tall and this wide, if you embroider, okay. if you do a machine embroidery, that are like, what do you call those? pendants oh, like that yeah. you can use those oh, good a lot idea. of this because she does she incorporates and then she ties in between each one she makes it a little knot with one okay and that's goes right across, idea you can put it across your uh, fireplace and your kitchen wherever oh cute so All that's right. another idea good idea yeah. mm -hmm. and then um the last one is something i made so i went to make my own needle minder and it it's I bought the wrong size magnets, but it was a happy mistake because I'll show you. Oh. This is um, a covered button that I made and it says cookies for Santa. So it's just a fussy cut um, little detail from a fabric I have. And I made a cover button and it's on these giant magnets. <laughs> so it's strong. You saw it's it on that very tin she strong. had. It's very strong, yes. Um, so this is just a pair of my mom's scissors. So you can use this to hold your scissors if you wanted. Um, the scissors aren't part of the giveaway, but um, it's strong enough to hold scissors. So I'll give this back Thank to you, you Mom. Uh, of course, your needle. Um, and you can also, I sit mine by my um, sewing machine, and as I'm unpinning my quilts, all the pins will accumulate on this, and then I can take them off when I'm done. So lots of uses for this large, um, heavy-duty needle minder type thing so those three uh no four items is in one giveaway for the winners the so july that's it okay anything else that's it i think we gave them a lot <laughs> i feel we like we just ran a marathon <laughs> we showed you a lot to all take in but and we didn't want we didn't show you everything we wanted to so yeah. next time next yes. floss tube so yes and if you want us us to uh Say where well, we got something again. If we forgot to put it on, yeah. we could always comment and let or us whatever. know. Or if you want us to show something again that we show this time, the next time, yeah, we can do it. Yeah, let us know. We need a reminder. So, so. thank you for all the support, yes. and um, we hope to. Um, We're having a guest. A guest. We'll uh, have a guest um, yes. next time. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we'll have to see what her schedule is. Yeah. So once a month for us is is doable. Because right. um, my mom is busy and I work, yes. so we'll plan on next month um, to have our special guest. And we can't make stuff that fast. Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> we need time for our plans. Yeah, we do. <laughs> All right, so, everybody. Take care. It was Happy great. Happy 4th of July. Yes. Happy 4th of July. Bye-bye.